Hey guys, so today I want to share with you my favorite red lipsticks. I previously showed you my favorite nude lipsticks and I will have that link down below. Honestly, I don't really wear red lipsticks that often, but I do find that they're very, very sexy and they kind of have that classic alluring feel that I really like to wear, um, especially when I do want to feel more sophisticated. Really quickly, I also just wanted to mention that I have a few favorite red lip lacquers, but I decided to put them in with my favorite red lip glosses, and I'm going to just compile a video of my favorite lip glosses all together, just because I don't have that many, and I thought it would just be better if it was all together, so um, like I said, I'm only showing you four lipsticks today. This first one is by CoverGirl, and it's called Hot. And it is just this beautiful, beautiful red. It does kind of have like a pink based undertone to it. And I just find it the most wearable, perfect red. I have adored it ever since I got it from Jessica. This was the first red lip color that I really got into. And I wouldn't say that it's too creamy, but I actually like that for red lipsticks because I find that they don't smudge outside of my lip lines. Alright, so here's what it looks like once it's applied and please excuse the messy messy application. I just kind of had to roll with it. So whenever I see this red, I just envision it as the classic all-American girl, the very iconic Marilyn Monroe. I just really think this is one of the colors that she would have definitely gone for and I think it's really beautiful since it did kind of leave that color behind I'm gonna kind of go over with my foundation brush. So the next one that I want to show you is again another beautiful pink based red and if you thought the last one was pink based this one is even more of a pink base. It definitely pulls quite pink on my skin but it definitely has that beautiful red color to it. So this is one of the NYX Butter Lip Glosses and it's the color Big Cherry. I quite like these because you can really share them out or you can build up the color. It looks like this. It is so so beautiful and when I swatch it next to the other one you'll all see what I mean like how it is more of a pink based. So as you can see that is definitely pink based but when you compare it to that one, that one is so much more. So if you are kind of scared of reds, this is the color I would go for because I just think it would be the perfect red to get used to wearing red. Alright guys, sorry again for the butchered application. I just think today is not the day that any lipstick is going to go on properly, especially after I do this over and over again. But as you can see, it is very, very similar to the last one, but I did want to show it to you guys just because I do feel like it is more of a wearable red and I really, really like the formula of this one. It is very, very moisturizing. It's very pleasant. It almost feels like you're just wearing chapstick, honestly. So I only have two more colors and this next one that I have to show you is a red, but it pulls very orange on me, so I think it would be wonderful for you girls who do have more of a yellow based complexion like I do, or if you have more of a tan or darker complexion. I can really see this looking incredible on you. It is one of the Maybelline Color, Sen Color Sensational Vivid Lipsticks in Neon Red, and in the tube, it appears very, very red, but like when I swatch it on my skin, you will see how orange it pulls. Okay, let's get. So it looks like that. Now, when you compare it to the other ones, you can instantly see that this one is so much more orange based. So that is what they're looking like right now. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it. I love how it has that slightly orange feel like I said and I feel like this would be the perfect color if you haven't personally tried orange lipsticks just to kind of get into them and yeah I think it's a really beautiful lipstick I feel like it doesn't look as scary as you would imagine and it does kind of have that neon feel to it but it's not too like bold and amplified. The last one that I want to show you is a lip liner but I definitely wanted to include it in this video just because it's the red that I tend to lean most towards these days and it is one of the velvet matte lip pencils from NARS. It's in the color Cruella and I'll go ahead and just apply it right here 
and instantly you can see, compared to the other ones, it is kind of like, almost like a purpley, it still has like a pink undertone to it, but it has more of like a purpley blood undertone to it. That's the best way to describe it, kind of like dried blood. I would definitely describe this as my vampire red. I just think it is so, so beautiful. And I really personally am loving these darker, almost like oxblood red colors lately. I think they are so beautiful and so glamorous. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this, of course. Now the thing about these lip pencils is you would think that they would be really dry and scratchy, but these velvet lip pencils are so creamy, but they obviously stay on your lips for such a long period of time. I really love the formula. So here is what the lip pencil looks like, and I totally have to say that I feel like a complete boss in this lip color. I think it is incredible, totally a power woman color. If you are bold enough to wear this and brave enough to wear it out, I totally say good for you girl. It is a beautiful, beautiful color. I think it would look amazing on tan or deep skin tones, but I personally think even if you have more of a fair skin tone, rock this. Here is my swatches once again. I hope you guys saw at least one red that you are interested in trying. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you later. Bye!